Hey, what's up everybody? Jack of Many Trades back here again with another video. And today I'm gonna to be going back over a product that I've reviewed pretty extensively on this channel, which is the Enreal Air. So if you haven't seen my latest video on these, you can check it out right here. But basically in that video, I talked about productivity on the Mac. And in particular, I said that it wasn't really too much better than using something like a traditional monitor uh, behind me, I have an LG 34 inch ultra wide, which is what I use for most of my work. And in that video, I said that the Enreal Airs, if you're sitting at a desk like this, looking at a monitor this size, it's really not any better of an experience. But I am here to tell you that with the Nebula beta app, all of that changes. Uh, with the Nebula beta app for Mac, you're actually able to have up to three independent displays all stacked left to right. So you can have one on the left, one on the right, and your main one in the center. Or you could just have two displays. You can also choose how far they are from your face so you can have them very close, medium distance, or very far. And all of this is made possible by the Nebula beta app. Now, something that I should mention before we get into this is that if you do want to use the Nebula beta app for Mac, you will have to go to the website that I will leave a link to in the description, download it, and you need to have a Mac that has Apple Silicon. So for me, I have the M1 Max 16 inch MacBook Pro. If you'd like to learn more about this computer or you're interested in purchasing it, uh, I will leave a card up here to my review, but you do need to have an Apple Silicon Mac. So if you do have one and you have your Enreal Airs or you're interested in getting Enreal Airs, stay tuned we will go through the entire process from start to finish and i'll show you guys using a little bit of video magic what this is actually going to look like for you all right hi everyone so all right so here we are on the nreal nebula website so this is where you're going to go in order to get the nebula app for your macbook so we just want to scroll down here Nebula beta for Mac. And all you want to do is click here on download. Just save it to your downloads file. Since I already have it downloaded, I'll just click replace. And again, just to reiterate, only MacBooks that have M series chips are supported and the macOS version needs to be 12.0 and above. So they do plan to add more devices in the future, but that's not a guarantee. So at the moment, you need to have at least an M1 MacBook Pro running macOS 12. All right, so here we are in our downloads page. All you'd want to do is just click on the Nebula app DMG. It'll open it up and mount it and all you need to do is just drag the app icon into your applications folder. Um, I can't do it right now since I'm doing screen recording. It doesn't allow me to do that, uh, but that's basically the procedure for installation. Then you will just need to go ahead and open up the Nebula app here. The first time that you do this, you will need to go to your system preferences and allow for a screen recording as well as camera access. Those two things allow the Unreal Air to work its magic, so just be aware of that. So when you're ready, all you need to do is connect your Unreal Airs to the MacBook. And then once they're connected, all you need to do is put them on and press the start button for the Nebula app. I'm on the Nebula app. Uh, this is my primary screen, so here I'm going to be doing a little bit of video editing with Final Cut Pro 10. So this is the current video that you're watching. Um, so as you can see, things are working pretty well. Um, so definitely a little bit larger than my MacBook Pro display. Uh, like I said in my real review of this, um, the size of the Enreal Air display is much smaller than the size of my LG Ultrawide that I have sitting behind the MacBook Pro, but 
With the Nebula app, since you get the ability to have three of those displays side by side, it actually equates to quite a substantially larger display in terms of total area than the LG Ultrawide. So I think it's a pretty worthwhile investment. Over here on the left hand side, you can see that I have a Word document open, so I'm just typing away over there. And then on the right hand side, you can see that I have a app of Safari open. So with my Safari, I'm just kind of browsing through the internet, uh, you know, doing regular things that you might want to do on the side while you're typing something up and doing some video editing. Uh, this is just one example, but uh, you could imagine that you could have split screen apps on each of those displays. So you could be working on six apps at the same time, which is pretty crazy and very cool that you're able to do this with the Unreal Airs now. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video talking about the Unreal Airs and their use with the Nebula app on Mac. I think this really adds a ton of value to these already great products. Um, I think if you're somebody who travels a lot for work, if you like to do work at home, maybe you don't have a monitor or you don't have a double monitor setup, this is going to be something absolutely fantastic for you because you will be able to have up to three monitors in virtual space that you can work off of at any time. And if you're out traveling, if you're at a coffee shop or something like that, you don't have to take up your entire table just to have portable monitors set up. You can just use the Unreal Airs and you'll have no issues. Another thing that I really wanted to mention here before I go, if you end up buying the Unreal Airs and you don't have an Android phone, or you don't have access to a Mac with the Nebula app, you will need to use the link that I'll provide down in the description below to activate the Unreal Airs. Uh, a lot of people leave negative reviews on Amazon saying that they don't have any display output. That's because they didn't activate the device first. I had the same problem when I got mine. Uh, since I don't own any Android devices, I connected them to my MacBook expecting display output and instead I got nothing. But with a quick search, I found that you just need to use the website that I'm going to link down below and that can be used as activation if you don't have access to a device capable of using the Nebula app. Another thing that I wanted to mention as just a disclaimer for using the Nebula app with the Mac, it is in beta, so they are going to be changing things. It's not the final version yet, but something that I did come across while I was using it for testing in this video is especially if you're using something like Microsoft Word, where there's a solid white background, the whites do flicker a little bit, so if that bothers you, just be aware that the Unreal Airs will do that if you have a solid white background. But other than that, I didn't really come across any major hiccups, and I think that it's still a pretty solid option for you guys if you are interested in picking these up for work. So with that being said, thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys got a lot out of it. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you again in the next video.